when in menstruation during Ramadan and during Laylatul Qadr, so the woman gets her monthly cycle the last 10 days of Ramadan, and one of them could be Laylatul Qadr. How can we gain as much reward as we would praying and using real Mus'haf, meaning reading the Quran? Is the reward the same for using a digital Mus'haf versus physical copy of the Quran? Number one, number one, the fact that you are asking this question tells me and tells us and anyone who has this question that we care about our deen, alhamdulillah. We care about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We care about um, our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's number one. That's number one. Number two is what else I can do? This probably will make it easy. What else I can do in Laylatul Qadr or in general? Let's take Laylatul Qadr in general. Number one, we don't know which one is it. But there is some the hadith that teaches us it's in the last 10 days. And then another hadith tells us it's in the last uh, seven days. Another hadith teaches us it's in the odd nights of the last 10 days or the last seven days of Ramadan. So what I am supposed to do is not an obligation, by the way, but it is I miss a lot of good and khair if I don't do it. And that's a choice I make, right? Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alfi shahr. Right? The night of the, the Qadr, the night of decree, is better than 1,000 months. And then Allah said, Salamun hiya hatta matla al-fajr. Peace, greeting, till fajr, till salat, the fajr, the morning salah. Meaning, I am up in the night. You hiya, as we say, you keep doing it all the night. So what do I do in the night? One of them, absolutely, is salah. Absolute. Right? Reading the Quran. So, and I'm going to tell more, and then we'll come to what the woman during her uh, monthly menses can do. So, prayer, reading Quran, dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking for forgiveness. And uh, Sayyida Aisha asked the Rasul alayhi salatu a question, the meaning of, Ya Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam, if I knew what night is the night of the Al Qadr. I knew that this night is the night of Qadr. What should I say? And, and he alayhi salatu wasalam responded, Quli, say, and this for all of us, men and women, for all of us need to learn. What should I do? Because sometimes we get overwhelmed or some we don't know what to say. We, don't, we have not memorized it or we know so many and I don't know which one I should. Subhanallah. What a beautiful question from a Sayyida Aisha for us to all learn. Basically, wallah make our life easy. Because when I know what I need to do, what should I say? It's much easier. And the response of Rasul so beautifully said and easy. And made it as he was described, Uti to Jawama al Kalim. I was given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ability to say the point in a few words. So I don't have to see he did not talk a lot about one point, too much details. Very few words, but to the point. So what did he tell her? Quli, Allahumma inna ka'afu, tuhibbu al'af, fa'afu anni. Ya Allah, inna ka'afu. One of your names is what? Names of Allah, al'afu, the one who pardon. Tuhibbu al'af, you love to pardon, fa'afu anni, pardon me, forgive me. So the dua of Laylatul Qadr, that's that one. Allahumma inna ka'afu. Tuhibbu al'af fa'afu anni. Ya Allah, you are the one who pardon. Love to pardon. Please pardon me. That's dhikr. Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for istighfar. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for istighfar. Ask Allah to forgive you. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you. Anything. Astaghfirullah. La ilaha illa anta subhanak inni kuntu min al-zalimin. So dhikr, so you actually, we as a human being, by nature, we get bored and also we get tired. So basically, read Quran, perform salah extras, long reading of the Quran inside the uh, salah, a lot of dhikr, a lot of istighfar. So the sister, may Allah reward her and give her Jannah al-Firdaus, she's saying, here I am, have my menstruation, right? 
and it's the night of the Qadr. So the whole seven days or the whole 10 days of Ramadan, I am during my menstruation. So during the day, I'm not fasting, I'm not praying, and in the most correct opinion, I cannot read the Quran, right? And all the opinion says you cannot touch the Quran. So what should I do? Again, I want you all to remember this, that the fact, the fact you are not doing things to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is an act of worship. So when I am not praying in the night and I know I want, Allah knows I want to pray. Allah knows if I did not have my cycle, I will be praying, you will be rewarded. Because the reason, the excuse, you are not doing this act of worship is not your choice. So I want you all to feel, don't feel sad because you're still obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when I'm standing and praying, I'm obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when I am not, because Allah told me not to pray when you are during your menstruation, I'm also obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I'm, I'm being rewarded. This is the question. The question is, when it is the menstruation, how we gain as much reward? You are, my dear, because you're obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but not doing something so beloved to you, and everybody else is doing it, but you're not doing it because that's what he told you. Again, Islam is to submit to the will of Allah. So that's number one. Then we come, what can I do? The best thing you can do is actually to ask Allah for forgiveness. The dua of Sayyidah Aisha. Alternate in many duas. Read duas. If you don't know them, again, read. Read dua. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And stay up in doing these things. And if you are from the school that the woman can read Quran, then you are fine. And you can read it from, not the Quran itself, you can read it from any of the, exactly, from your phone, from your tablet. If you are from the school that, that, that states the woman during her cycle can't read the Quran, you can read only with your, with your eyes. You go with your eyes on the Quran and alternate. And ask Allah, and that personally is what we really need in Laylatul Qadr, is to have this personal connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That this is your night, Ya Allah. This is, I am giving all my time for you this night. You know, all the year we do everything for ourselves, we do everything for everybody around us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We have to do that, right? We have to do that. But these nights, the last nights of Ramadan, all of us, men and women, Let's give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? I can do this and I can do that afterward. I can spend time with my friends. I can sleep. I can do a lot of things other. But these are very special nights, very special nights. So do your best to have this connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the best connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is dua, supplication, and salah, of course. But again, you're not praying, you're not reading Quran because you're obeying him. So don't you ever feel we will be rewarded less. On the contrary, this is how I feel. When I want to do something I really like and everybody else is doing and I don't do it because it pleases Allah, I am struggling, I will be rewarded more inshallah because it is difficult for me. And وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا Those who struggle for our sake, we will guide them to our path. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you.